Rev up your engines! It's time for ScottyKilmer.com. Is your oil pressure light coming on while driving? Then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to fix it. When your oil pressure light comes on, it means that the computer thinks your oil pressure is low. So the first thing to do is to open the hood, shut off the engine, and see if you're low on oil. So I'll check the dipstick, wipe it off, and push it back in. Then check it. Now in this case, the oil's up to the full mark, so it's not low on oil. Really dirty oil can cause this too, but this oil isn't that dirty, so we have to check for something else. We're going to check the oil pressure sending unit. This car's 13 years old, and a lot of times the springs inside just wear out and give a false reading, saying it's low when it really isn't. Now in this Honda, the oil filter sending unit is by the oil filter, so you got to jack the car up to access it. And since you can't really check these yourselves, and they only cost a few bucks, it's a good idea just to buy one and replace it. And to do that, all you need is a special socket that fits it, which you can buy at any auto parts store, and a ratchet that fits on the socket. Now in these Hondas, the oil filter's in the way, so you remove that first, so you can get to the sending unit right here, once you take the filter off. Now we've unscrewed the old oil filter, and if you look closely, you'll see it's covered with oil on the outside. That means it was leaking, and that's probably why the light's coming on. Now before you screw the new one in, here's a trick. Get some Teflon tape, and wrap it around a few times on the inside. You want the outside to be able to touch the metal to ground it, but the inside you don't want it to leak. Then you just put it back on the engine with a socket, and keep turning it until it's nice and snug and won't leak oil. And then get the wire and plug it back on, nice and tight. And of course, remember to put the oil filter back on and fill it up with oil before you start it. Because you don't want to ruin your engine running it low on oil. Then we'll start her up and see what happens. And voila, no more oil light coming on. Which is a good thing, because if the oil light still came on, that would mean the oil pump's going out, or you had a serious engine worn problem, which is going to cost a fortune. And sure, you might get a little greasy, but hey, you're saving money. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com.